Hello and welcome to Jan's Reviews EastEnders. Oh my goodness, I haven't watched it for a while and I mean I've known a bit of what's been going on but I haven't really been paying too much attention to it. So tonight I thought I'm going to watch it tonight. My God, it's like the apocalypse has happened. Apparently a bus has driven into the bridge in um, Albert Square and there's all these casualties everywhere. One thing I will say about EastEnders, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, they do drama brilliantly and I was actually on the edge of my seat waiting to see who they were going to bump off. You kept finding bodies here and another body there and the young people trying to climb out of the bus and oh it was so exciting and so well done. But as far as we know nobody that we know has been killed in it although in true EastEnders style, there was a cliffhanger. And the cliffhanger is hearing Whitney's phone. So we are led to believe maybe she is a victim of this accident. It was very well written, very well performed. And there was a bit where there's a train and you've got Skanky Shirley on the train with her mum, you know, the one who's a bit loopy loo, and, um, and Tracy, is it, T Tanya? They're on the train. So you think for one horrible moment that they're actually going to be involved um, directly with what's gone on in Albert Square. But as it turns out, they're just stuck in a, in a tunnel um, in the train. See? I couldn't bear that. I'd be like, oh my God, let me out because I'm a bit claustrophobic anyway. So I could not cope with that. But anyway, so they are not injured. You do feel, oh, they're going to bump them off. No, they didn't. They're still stuck in the train in the tunnel. Let's hope they stay there indefinitely. So we had Martin stuck under a bus and Baldy Max screams at everybody, come on, we got to lift this bus up because none of the emergency services seem to be around. So the whole of the square and more besides, and from the town next door, I shouldn't wonder, managed to lift this bus off of Martin so that the one paramedic who turned up could work on him. It was, in, it was good. I can't say it wasn't good. It was very good and exceptionally well done. So they get him out. We don't know whether he's going to survive. Uh, as usual, Stacey, played by Lacey Turner, is just an incredible actress. She's just so believable. She was brilliant. Yeah, as I said, you had the youngsters on top of the uh, 724 from Barkin. Um, and they're trying to climb out of the window. That was quite well done. And you've got young Shucky turning out to be the hero of the moment. Good for him. Uh, not one side of Phil Mitchell. Can we hope that he may have been crossing the road as the bus hurtled into the marketplace? We can dream, can't we? Oh, another thing. For the very first time, we saw Denise's and Kim's mum. That was interesting. I've never seen her on there before. I do wish, however, that they would get the shades right. See, they're both as black as the ace of spades. And then they've got the mum who's my colour. That's not going to happen. Come on. Get it right. It does annoy me. It's like when you get like these mixed race families and they end up with a child that there's no way in hell that that child could possibly look like that coming from those two parents. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Please look out for me on Instagram. Please like and comment in the uh, in the doodah underneath. I'm good at this. I've been away for a while. Give me a break. And uh, I'll see you very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.